So, uh, in case you missed it, the, uh, the 5050 wheels came in yesterday. Uh, so these are the wheels that I've been testing for about six months. Um, they're using the same compound as the compass wheels, and uh, man, it's been a long day. So yesterday I spent most of the afternoon packing up orders, uh, packing up wheels, getting boxes together. I've got a box in the car that I'm going to go drop off at the post office today after I skate. Amazing feeling. Uh, thank you everybody for all the support. It's been, uh, it's been a great journey to get to this point and uh, yeah, can't wait to skate them. Uh, also, we started pre-orders on the 5050 bag yesterday. Uh, so this is the backpack. It comes in in June. If you're interested, uh, go to 5050frames.com and you'll see all the information. So today, you know, I wanted to test out the new 5050 wheels. Um, and I was watching an old gear talk last night and I saw, you know, how many times I recommended the Aeon. But it's been a long time since I've skated the Aeon. So I decided, you know, what better flat frame to skate 58 millimeter wheels than the USD Aeon. So here they are, uh, 50, 50 wheels. These are 58 millimeter, 85A. Um, they are fresh bearings, 50, 50 bearings. So as much 50, 50 as I can get, if the frames were replaceable, that would be the last step. But these Aeons are amazing. Um, I used to love skating them. I skated them with 58 millimeter wheels in the past. So I don't see any issues with these 58 mil wheels. The, uh, the profile of the wheels, you can see it's a very uh, rounded, flat profile, so it should be really great. I don't get very much wheel bite on this setup anyway, but if I were to get any wheel bite, I think it would be mitigated by the angle of these wheels. Mostly, I'm just really curious to see what they feel like. You know, the 5885 is a really nice, soft, cushiony feeling. These skates are so solid feeling because the frame is attached directly to the shell. You know, there's, there's no replacement. It's just a single piece that there's no wiggle down here. So I've got this axle holding the wheel on and that's really all the hardware separating me, my foot, from the wheels. Man, these things feel solid. <laughs> I forgot how solid Aeons feel. They're, um, they're just silent. You know, there's no move, there's no wiggle. It's just my foot connected to wheels. Um, I mean, you could probably hear it. It's just skating, it just feels connected to the ground. Um, no squeaks, no wiggle, no nothing like that. <sighs> oh, they feel good. I'm going fast too. <laughs> like I felt like I was airing really high, especially on that forward air. Um, and even the 180, like I feel like I was up there for a long time, a lot longer than I was expecting. All right, here comes some grinds. Those are a little sticky. You know, I waxed it pretty well, but I don't remember how these soles slid. I think they were a little sticky always. Um, the Aeon is weird because, you know, unlike the 7, unlike the Shadow, unlike, you know, the Solo, the thing that you're sliding on is the boot. You know, there's no sole plate here. The boot is the sole plate. So they have to use a material for the boot that won't crack. <laughs> you know, they can't use this quick, um, fast material um, because it has to have structural integrity. Like with a sole plate, 
all you're doing is grinding on it. You don't have to worry about it holding your, your foot together. Here is different. And uh, yeah, they're not fast. Um, at least not today for me. Now, this park has a really limited run up, so take it with a grain of salt. But I'm definitely feeling like I'm part, like I'm sliding on the ledge versus like with the seven. I felt like I was kind of floating on top of the ledge, if that makes sense. But able to lock, fine, no problems there. Um, you know, my angle's a little off, but I'll get that. Um, feels so good skinny flat here. Um, you notice there's no squeaking. Um, you know, I was testing these wheels with balance frames flat. I definitely got some squeaking on this ledge. No squeaking here because, you know, the Aeon is an amazing frame. Great wheel bite protection and all that. So I think this is a really good setup. Um, but we're gonna have to find out how Royals do. Rails were great, absolutely great. Um, I can squat, I have confidence that my boot isn't gonna slip out. Yeah, they feel amazing. Um, you know, back in the days we used to skate K2 fatties. I didn't, but a lot of people did. Same thing with like a Majestic 12. When people started learning Royales, um, there weren't sole plates, you know? Sole plates didn't have grooves. If anything, you had like a CDS Detroit like heel, but you didn't have anything protecting your boot. So when you see people do long royales back in VG3 or like backslides on kink trails in VG4, you know that they're backsliding on a material that's much softer than they're soling on. Here, you know, I was complaining that the sole was a little slow. That works to my advantage with Royale. So I feel like when I lock on Royale, I can just balance it. And that's amazing. Um, there is the, <laughs> the problem where, you know, if you ride a, um, a shifted flat setup where, you know, the, the outside wheels are really close together, that you have no groove in your channel one or channel three. So if you stick like I did on the backside unity and you miss, there's no forgiveness. You're, you're, you're stuck. <clears throat> and that's not, you know, the end of the world. Like you can practice and get used to that. The groove is so big that you shouldn't miss that bad, but I miss a lot, so it helps. All right, top sides, here we go. This is for the, all the money. <laughs> All right, that felt good. Ah, oh, that top acid is just solid. Wish there was more ledge. Um, kind of grind, you know, I'm still getting it, but I think if I stick to these skates for a little bit, I think it'll come really clean. All right, here comes the rail. I don't think I've ever skated a rail with these Aeons, but my Royale feels so solid. solid. I can't even speak. Royale feels so solid right now. I, I gotta try it. 
little bit of wax. Well, I made it a little, a little more than halfway. It's funny, that's about where I usually make it. That's also right where the trees start encroaching on the rail and I start getting hit in the face with them. I need to bring a uh, clippers next time. Anyway, um, these feel great. I, I love the Aeon. <laughs> no, you can't ride 50-50 frames with the Aeon. And that is not a good business decision as the owner of 5050, but the wheels feel good. <laughs> and ultimately, you know, even if you don't ride the wheels, these are amazing skates. Um, they are super light. They fit my feet like a glove. They are super responsive. There's no sound. I mean, they're, they're silent. The only thing that I don't like about them is that strap. That 45 degree strap keeps coming undone. I've had to fix it like three times today, so. I need to uh, get some ratchets or get a uh, sewing machine and sew up that Velcro, but other than that, it's great. Highly recommended these skates. If you're getting back into blading, my recommendation, recommendation still stands. These are the best skates for you. You don't have to worry about UFS. You're gonna have an amazing experience out of the box and uh, you're gonna keep skating more. All right, thanks everybody for watching. See you guys next week.